Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can make a cool splash screen. So usually when you Google for splash screens, then you see how people actually do it wrong. So other people often just implement a whole new activity for that splash screen and then um, implement some kind of delay, like show the real activity after five seconds or so. Um, but you shouldn't do it like that. A splash screen should actually only have the purpose to display as long as your app loads. Because pretty much every user out there is annoyed by splash screens that take longer than they actually need. So what I will actually show you in this video is how you can make a splash screen that actually only displays um, when your main activity actually loads. So you can see I prepared that app here and when I relaunch that here, you can see the splash screen displays and when main activity loads, it automatically switches to that. And we don't need two activities for that, only a single one. So I'm here in an empty Android Studio project. You can also just create a new project and then you're good to go. Then you can start with this video. Um, so essentially, how will this actually work with that splash screen? So because we don't use two activities here, we will actually um, modify the application's theme. So if you take a look here in our RAS folder values, then we have a themes folder here. Double click on that. And here you can see that is basically our main app theme here, this theme.splashscreen YouTube or whatever you called your app here. And then we will simply create another theme here in this themes.xml file and set that, that theme that we create here as a default theme in our app. And when we launch our app, we will then replace that default theme with this theme here. So then our app will actually look the same when we launch it, but before that it will actually show our splash screen. So to actually start, um, if you want to show your logo of your app or whatever, so just as I did it here in this example, then we first need to import that as a vector file. So in our drawable folder, we right click new vector asset. And here we can either choose a clip art or a local file in SVG or PSD format. We of course want to choose a local file. So our logo, and then we can um, open the path here and select our logo. I prepared that already here in this folder. So I'll open that. You can see here is my logo.svg. You of course select your own logo here. We click OK. You can see here is my logo. We can choose a size here. So how many dp that logo should actually be large in your app because as you probably know, vector files don't have a fixed dimension. Instead, they um, always look sharp in all resolutions. So we need to specify a size here how big that should actually be in our app. I will just choose a width here of, let's say 170 dp, and then it will automatically calculate the height so that it looks good. Then we can click on next and finish. And then if we take a look in our drawable folder, you can see we have that logo here as an XML file. If you open that, you can see it here, but just having that is not enough. Instead, what we need to do is we need to create a drawable resource that we can actually um, set as background of a specific activity. So in our drawable folder again, we right click new um, drawable resource file this time. And I will call this splash underscore image. And then we can press OK. And you can see it automatically created um, such a selector tag. We don't want that. Instead, we want to replace that with a layer list. So in a layer list, we can well specify different layers we want to have in our drawable. So we here want to specify a layer for the background, so just the color, and then another layer for our actual um, logo that we want to display. So let's start with our background layer. We specify an item tag here, and we specify Android colon drawable. And we simply set that to color black or to whatever color you want to set your background of your splash screen. That's it for this layer. The next layer is also um, an item here. This time 
we don't want to set it to a color. Instead, we want to set it to the XML vector we just imported. So this time we set the drawable to IC logo, I call it here. You can see it on the right hand here that the logo displays, but we also want to make sure to set its gravity to center. So that will make sure that it's actually, um, that it appears in center and also with the dimensions we assigned when we imported it. So that's it for our drawable. And next we need to go to our theme.xml file here and create that theme for our actual splash screen. This video is sponsored by myself. If you want to take your learning to the next level, then click the first link in this video's description to get to my website, where you will find over 300 quiz questions for all my videos, take notes, climb the leaderboard and compete with other Android developers just by creating a free account. So we open a new style tag here. We can give this theme a name here. I will give it the name splash screen theme. And the parent will be of the material components. So we will use material components, um, no action bar actually. We don't want to display an action bar here. And I will choose this theme, material components, light, no action bar here. And then we can open that tag. And in here we will have an item tag for the window, uh, window background. So that will essentially be the background of our activity. And for that, so we open that item tag, for that we specify that we want to display our drawable for our splash screen. So from add drawable, we choose our splash image. And I also want to make sure that the status bar is the same color as our actual splash screen background. So just that it looks a little better. So we open another item tag here and set the status bar color, in my case, to color black. And I would su suggest you to choose the color that fits to the background of your splash screen. And then the next step is to actually um, change our default theme to this theme that we created here. Because um, by default, this, this here is the standard theme. And this doesn't have this window background here attached. And this also shouldn't have this window background attached because that is our normal app theme. And we don't want to have the background of our splash screen in every of our activities. So what we want to do here is we want to go to our manifest. And here we have our Android theme attribute. That is the default theme for our app. And you can see right now that splash screen YouTube theme is selected. We want to replace that with our splash screen theme. And then we can go to our activity because when we actually launch our activity, when it reaches this on create state, we actually want to change that splash screen theme to our um, normal app theme. So before set content view, that is important that you do that before, um, we want to call set theme and we set it to r dot style dot um, theme splash screen YouTube, this one. So that is, as you can see here in our themes XML file, that is the name of our normal theme. And that's actually everything we need to do here. So let's launch our app, take a look here, and you can see our splash screen displays. That is, of course, um, just for a pretty quick time here, but that is exactly as it should be. Your users shouldn't wait um, and just look at your logo. They usually don't care about that as much as you do. So just display your splash screen as long as your main activity actually loads. So I hope this video was very helpful for you. If so, please drop me a comment below and tell me that. Leave me a like and also, of course, leave me a follow. If you didn't do that already, you will get regular Android content every second day. I wish you a very nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.